Well, hello, reef keepers, Aquarius, sand, saltwater, fish enthusiasts uh, out on YouTube. This is Mike from What Works For Me Aquariums. Uh, the last two videos are, have been on what didn't work for me, and this one might be similar. We're going to find out. So, folks, here's what's going on. Uh, since the last video, I told you things were definitely on decline. We're having issues regarding uh, um, AK, uh, AKH levels being very low and, and magnesium levels being very high and, and of that nature. Now, since then, I've managed to get the KH up to about 7, but I'm not satisfied because I believe it's supposed to be between 8 and 11. So I'm still working on that. Um, but I did realize that I had quite high nitrates, and that may have led to a considerable uh, damage in the aquarium, though I understand it's not that crucial. It certainly can be when your nitrates get up to 80 parts per million. That's correct. That's what you heard. 80 parts per million, which is just unfortunate. I was watching a lot of things and stopped watching other things, and you just can't do that. However, some things have begun to change. I've made some additions, and I've made a decision. So, uh, I would very much like to hear in the comments uh, when I'm done talking here about what you think what I consider, what I'm considering doing, where you think is a good idea, or should I leave it alone? Uh, just let it let it ride until it corrects itself. So here's what I'm looking at, folks. Uh, this is the aquarium as it sits right now. The only thing left are a couple of pieces of soft coral. Pipe organ has actually still got some polyps on it. In fact, it's got a few more this morning than it has lately. And of course, the green star polyp is indestructible, <laughs> and it is just going on. It may not be multiplying. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's getting. Yeah, it's probably more of it than it was. So. I don't feel too bad about that. So here's what's, what I've done. <clears throat> uh, the first thing I did was add, add some Purigen from Seachem, uh, which I believe is helping to reduce the nitrates. And in fact, I found this morning, uh, after the last reading, which was about a week ago at 80, this morning I'm down to 20. Uh, and that was because of water changes, the Purigen, and I added a protein skimmer, which you might not be able to see. Let me see if I can get a picture. Um, if you look right at the top of the tank, uh, now you can't see it from here. Uh, but at any rate, I uh, got a nano skimmer from Coral Life, the BioQ V2, uh, and I haven't really got it got it adjusted correctly yet. <clears throat> but we're working on it. I am getting skim it, but it's not producing the foam that it's supposed to produce, so it's not working as well as it should. Uh, it it I'm getting uh, kind of a tea colored water, uh, maybe weak tea colored water, and I'm getting little little bitty pieces of something. So that means it is pulling stuff out of the water, but it's not doing exactly what I think it ought to do. Maybe I just haven't got it adjusted correctly. So I'll be working on that. Um, so we've got a couple of things working to reduce the nitrates, and I believe it is. I'm looking currently at the algae situation, and I'm not seeing a huge buildup. Uh, if anything, it is somewhat reduced. I've actually gone in and pulled some out by hand, uh, and I will continue to keep a monitor of the algae. Now, that's all good and fine and good. So here, here, I, I, I'm looking at the possibility of adding a small refugium. Um, there are a number of ways to go about that, and there are a number of hang-on-back refugiums. Sadly, they're ridiculously plot priced, since about all you ever get for your money is a plastic box. Um, and, and I might even be able to fashion one. There are a number of DIY suggestions on YouTube. And I appreciate them and I think they're a good good idea. Now what I did find is that Fluval actually makes a hang on the back refusion. Now, and it's not real expensive. It's like $50. But here's the deal. They also make a breeder box or a separation chamber, which is actually the refugium without a pump. <laughs> and so you can get a pump for five or six bucks, uh, and you can get the the not the, the, the breeder box without the pump for about twenty dollars. So I'm gonna save a lot of money if I do it that way. And the only thing else I'll need is small light. And 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 some uh chato of course. So that then another direction I intend to head. Okay. So here's the big one. This is what I've uh this is my absolute decision. And I say absolute, <laughs> maybe not. But right now, things are actually seeming to turn around a little bit. So I don't know if I'm going to do what I was thinking about. But here's what I imagined. I imagined taking the coral that I have, which is just a little bit, and putting them in a small tank. I have a, a, a flu ball tank that was intended for shrimp. 
and I haven't got it set up right now. So I was going to set it up, use the seawater from this tank, put the rock, the coral, and the fish, and the, the uh, uh, shrimp in it temporarily, very temporarily. I was going to empty this tank out entirely, hold the rock, put it in a bucket somewhere with water on it, uh, and 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 go ahead and just dump out the sand altogether, replace the sand, clean the tank, top to bottom, all the pumps, everything, completely clean. No more detritus of any kind. That way that'll clear this tank up. Now, I've heard there are two schools. Uh, some people say that if I continue to use the rock I'm using, there shouldn't be much of a difference in the tank. That it'll just sort of set right back up again. There are others who tell me it will go through a, a short cycle, which could kill the fish and the shrimp. Uh, maybe the coral, I don't know. So those are the things I've, I've got in mind. <clears throat> I'm pretty much set on taking it down and, and cleaning it. But I'm not 100%. So if any of you are all watching out there, please leave a comment. Say, hey Mike, that's not a good idea. Don't do it. Let it, let it recoup on its own as you add equipment. Uh, but uh, uh, then on the other hand, you know, I, I, I can't help but believe that that knocking it down and starting over again wouldn't be the you know, best idea. Certainly the nitrates will disappear with brand new ocean water or salt water. So anyway, those are the things I'm thinking. I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment. Like and subscribe. I know I probably got the most vi boring videos on all of YouTube. I apologize for that. I'm not a showman uh, per se. And anyway, uh, I, I will tell you that the um, the little uh, top auto top off the device that I purchased is working like a charm. Uh, I haven't had any issues out of it. The water stays at the proper level. So the salinity stays at the proper level. And since the fan, the addition of the fan, the temperature has been balanced right at about 78 degrees, 77 degrees. It's doing quite well. So right now, folks, that's where we are. Um, I am strongly moving toward taking the tank down and just starting it over again. It would be as if I were enlarging the tank, uh, upgrading, uh, which I probably just ought to go ahead and do since I have the tank, but I'm just not ready to do that yet. So anyway, those are some things that I'm thinking. I would love to hear from you. Right now, I don't know what the uh, KH level is. Last I checked, it was about 7. Uh, I was using Coral Life A and B Reef, Nano Reef A and B, and I don't recommend it. Uh, it's ha it, I've used it before when things weren't bad, and it's supposed to add all these, you know, everything, all the, the, the minerals and, and so forth, the, the uh, <coughs> elements back in the tank again as they deplete. However, what I found was the coral would close up and not open again. So stop using it. So this time, under these conditions, I thought, well, how, you know, can't hurt. So I used it, and that's when the nitrate shot up. So I don't know if that's really what it did or not, but I stopped using it. When I stopped using it, the nitrates have gone back down. So anyway, that's where we stand right now. I, currently, I'm using no additives at all, though I have some fluval alkalinity that I'm considering trying since that seems to be yet the problem. The alkalinity is not where it needs to be. Uh, again, any any suggestions, any ideas, anything you want to talk about, let me know. Uh, I understand there are some uh, liquids I can get to kill off the algae once the nitrates have dropped. That should help, but I'd like to kill it off altogether. So, folks, if that's uh, where you, that's where I'm at right now, thanks for watching. Uh, again, please, if you have any suggestions, anything that I might consider, I'm thinking the most comments I'm going to get or the most suggestions I'm going to get is simply hold tight, keep doing what I'm doing to to repair the tank and not take it down. That's imagining what it, that probably would be the best, quite honestly, to let it repair itself, uh, let it get back to where it needs to be so I can start adding coral again. However, uh, I am not, not there yet. I'm not sure, okay? So please, let me know what you think. We appreciate you guys watching. We really, uh, uh, I've enjoyed doing these videos. Uh, I, I didn't get a whole lot of response to the last video. Uh, again, I know I'm not the most entertaining person on, on the internet, but if you could kindly just let me have some information here, pass it along, let me know what you think, I appreciate it greatly. This is Mike from What Works For You Aquariums, What Works For Me Aquariums. Thank you very much.